Hi, I'm Beth Rogers, author of Freshman 14, a young adult novel about relationships with boys, friends, parents, and all the trials and tribulations that come along with the beginning of freshman year of high school. I'm here today to talk to you about Up, Over, Down, Under, a young adult novel by Nicole Austow and Noah Harlan, part of the SASS series of books, meaning students across the seven seas. There are 14 of these books in total, and they are all about study abroad. This particular one is the last of the series, and it is a double-length edition, meaning there are two girls, Eliza and Billy. All of the other books have only one girl who is the main protagonist of the story, but you don't need to read any of the books in order in order to fully and thoroughly enjoy each one. This particular one about Eliza and Billy um, is set in Washington, D.C. and Australia. Eliza is from D.C. and Billy is from Melbourne, Australia. Billy's parents seem really laid back and cool, and Eliza's parents are a little stricter. Um, her Eliza's dad works for the Environmental Protection Agency, the EPA, but um, when they switch places, they don't just switch places in terms of what they're doing there. They switch places in terms of the homes they live in with the parents of the other girl. So uh, Billy's really excited about living with Mr. and Mrs. Ritter, Eliza's parents, because she's really into the environment and wants to work with Mr. Ritter at the EPA and get to know more about how she can help. But things don't always go as she has planned, and one of the bills that's supposed to pass that she was really um, promoting um, is getting delayed. And so she becomes very political in how she presents um, her opinions on this. Um, she gets close with... Um, with Eliza's semi-boyfriend Parker, who Eliza's kind of broken it off with while she's going to be in Australia. And so some, kind, some sparks kind of fly between Billy and Parker. Eliza, who is in uh, Melbourne, Australia, gets, um, is, is also working with the environment on the beach and such, and such like that. She meets an, a boy there um, because she's wanted to kind of be free. That's why she um, kind of broke it off with Parker a little bit. And she meets a boy named Hamish who calls himself Maka. And sparks fly between them too. Because, of course, what young adult novel isn't complete without some relationship issues between boys and girls. Um, so anyway, I really enjoyed the juxtaposition of both girls um, in the story. They both had their troubles. They both kind of rebelled against authority somewhat, Eliza more so than Billy. And um, Billy's parents aren't so keen on Eliza rebelling, so they become very strict, even though they seem so laid back in the beginning. And that makes for some interesting storylines as well. Um, they, the, the girls, none of the chapters are... Um, the chapters go Eliza, Billy, Eliza, Billy. There's never two chapters in a row that are about the same girl. Um, and I really enjoyed that because it kind of kept kept you on your toes. Um, most of these books in the SASS series are by different authors, some by the same. But um, again, you don't need to read them in any order in order to really appreciate all of them. My only qualms with this particular book were that I um, it took me about five or six chapters to really get into it, um, but once I did, it flew by. In just a couple of days, I was done. Um, and then I also wasn't as keen on the fact that it didn't explore the landscape and the tourism aspects of the country countries that the girls were visiting quite as much, um, whereas in other books in the SASS series, such as um, Swede Dreams about Sweden and When Irish Guys Are Smiling About Ireland, it really did that, and it made me want to visit those countries all the more. I still want to visit Australia and even go back and visit Washington, D.C. again, because I've been there before, but it wasn't quite as much imagery and description as I would have liked to see. Um, but you will want to study abroad after reading any of these books. They, it, they really get you excited and give you a, some, some kind of feel for the country that um, makes you really eager to um, visit soon. So check back often for more book reviews of young adult novels and other um, TV shows and stories and books that, um, that I've read and enjoyed. And I, um, I hope you have a great day. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.